All right, we have a Remington Model 341. Let's see if I can get this to focus in here. Remington Model Sportmaster Model 341. My camera's not focusing, but that's what it is there, the Remington scrolling at. And this here is a magazine, a tube magazine fed bolt action 22 rifle that Remington made um, from 1936 to 1940. Looks like a basic simple rifle from the outside. But there is something that's a little bit different about this gun. And we'll go over it. Still trying to see. I can't get this thing to focus to save my life. Or maybe that'll do it right there. But again, another gun brought to me by somebody. Needed it cleaned. And uh, he said the safety was broken, but what it is, is the safety is missing. And we will go more into that once we get the gun apart. So when you look at this gun and you say, well, you know, it's the same thing as about 100 other different models of 22s from that time period. It's the basic gun. Uh, you know, it's got your tube mag. It's plain wooden stock in that. But what's different about this gun is it has a very strange feed mechanism, the bolt carrier. It's kind of a complex affair. And if you look at it down there, there's some other videos where a guy takes this all apart and explains it to you. But when you yank the bolt back, that carrier lifts up with a cartridge in here. And it aligns it with the chamber. And then when you move the bolt forward, see if we can see that in there. What happens first is the cartridge would be chambered directly straight and aligned with the chamber. And then this comes down and closes on it. So that elaborate feed system, which is not just your plain angles, there's it actually loads it much like an artillery shell we don't have okay so that's spring loaded the little mechanism down in there is not a cartridge in there so we don't see it maybe i'll do that later but i got to take this gun apart clean it and repair that safety okay and this is another one it says on the chamber here it says you know we ain't going to focus it but over here shoots short long and long rifle and with that elaborate spring-loaded thing yes I can see where it'll do that the length of the cartridge doesn't matter because most of them just have a follower to come up and then your bolt pushes the cartridge uh, off the follower or the little lifter but this complex little lifter is spring-loaded and I've seen a demonstration on how it works and this is kind of unique in a way, so this is a pretty special gun. Alright, I'm going to get it apart and then we'll take a look at what's going on here. Alright, here we have the gun apart, and as you can see it hasn't been cleaned in 70 years either. So, ah. there's a look at the internal mechanism and it's totally filthy. Okay, much like the bolt itself, nobody's had this gun apart in a very long time. Now, I could disassemble this totally, but I've already been warned in another video there's all kinds of small springs and catches and stuff in there. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to try to soak it in some solvent, flush it out, give it a good scrape down, and hope for the best. Um, because this gun was short-lived. Parts are difficult to find. I was lucky I found the safety in parts there, which was like 50, 60 bucks for the three pieces. They're newly manufactured. They're not old parts. So I'm not going to risk it. Uh, so let me get it cleaned, and then maybe we'll take a better look at it when we get it cleaned up. Okay, here we have our rifle with our <coughs> safety installed, which this is really... Uh, 
screwed up design. How it works is once you cock the bolt and get that little pin, there's like a lock washer that runs on this and when you turn this gigantic lever it cams on the back of the bolt like that. Now that's in your line of sight. The gun will not fire at this point. And then when you twist it over like this, the pin lines up with the notch and will allow the gun to fire. I had to clean 70 years of crap out of this mechanism which <coughs> Is like a Swiss watch. There's all kinds of little tiny springs and stuff, so I did not disassemble it, but I got it working better. Key is what you do is take a toothbrush, scrub everything down with hops number nine or whatever solvent you have to loosen everything up, then blast that out with carburetor cleaner. You go down to Walmart and just get plain carburetor cleaner. Because it has, um, oh, I forget what it is, but it'll flush. Once you get the solvent to loosen all the grime and black stuff up, it'll flush that right out. It did a pretty good job on the bolt, too. And then a little oil and clean, and now we got this wonderful gun back together to go back to its owner. Now, it's a very unusual gun. Neat gun, but getting parts for this is almost impossible. If you have one of these, I strongly suggest that you do not disassemble it. I looked at the bolt. I really couldn't figure out how to disassemble it other than driving a few of these pins out of the sleeve and then taking it apart. It also is a complex mechanism. But again, get you know, soak it in solvent, dissolve the powder, and then flush it and blast it with um, carburetor cleaner. And I freed up everything, firing pin, all that other stuff, the extractor, everything. And be careful because these guns, you know, they held together. But if you take them apart and get rough with them and break something or a spring goes flying out in the garage somewhere, it's going to be awful difficult to find any replacement parts. But... That's a look at this interesting little gun, and it's ready to go back to its owner after the clean and replacement of the safety.